Will's playing terrific. You know, it's uh, I think he's getting better and better. Um, I I do think that the time he spent here prepared him for the success he's having now. Uh, he's in a good situation and uh, he's taking full advantage of it. But it's good to see him playing well and uh, you know it's good to see his career blossom. I, I love watching. I love watching. I mean, in practice when he was here, you know, and we would have you know back to back and we would come in and have a light practice and they would play four and four. I was sitting there and watching them just so I can watch Will and CJ. Obviously now CJ being my teammate, I don't get to watch Will as much. So uh, when I go home, I, I make sure I catch, catch the Denver Nuggets. So you're not surprised by how well he's played in Denver? Not at all. He's, I, I've said it before, if I had to pick a person who led our team in scoring and practice, it was Will Barton over the last, since I've been here. Uh, he's he's just a baller, you know. He's a good playmaker. Uh, he can score. He can defend. He's a great athlete. He can do it all. And, um, it's just a matter of opportunity. And you know, he's got a, a great opportunity now. And he's taking advantage. Of it. You stay in touch with him? Oh, I talk to him all the time. Yeah. You send him a text message after yeah, that seven three boy. game, seven three pointer game? Uh, I, I mean, I talk to him so much, man. It is it's never just uh, you hit seven threes and you did this or that. You know, we talk about everything. You know, I didn't text him after the last game. He had like 25 yeah. in the first half, and then he ended up with 25. I was going to get on him about that. But, um, he's been playing great. You know, I'm happy for him. Thrill and killer. We've we'll been in constant contact on and off throughout the season, and I'm happy for him. He's taking advantage of a golden opportunity. He's, he's showing you know, the NBA you know, what he's capable of, and it's looking like a real bargain you know, for what he's, what he's being paid compared to what he's putting up. The way you guys have been playing this year, it seems like maybe Blazers practice last year was some real hidden, it's a lot of talent. You guys missed out on a lot of good action. It was very competitive every day. You know, Will and I were a lot of times on the same team, so we were doing a good job whooping up on the starters and uh, getting them ready for the games. Did anything he's doing this year surprise you? I mean, he's, way, he's shooting 38% from three. He's the only thing that, the three point percentage, I know Will can hoop. You know, he's a guy who can create his shot, and good in pick and roll. Flashy in transition, going to get dunks, block shots, but three ball is, is what really impressed me just because that, that takes a constant, you know, attendance, detail, constant work ethic, and a lot of reps. So uh, that's that's impressive to shoot that well from three, you know, be that athletic and still be able to knock down threes is impressive. Do you guys stay in contact, you know, when he has a big game? You yeah, talk to I, him? He, he gets mixed sports in there every couple weeks. I hit him up, I said, I see you. <laughs> you know, I said, I see you. And uh, he, you know, tells me, keep working, keep, try to get most improved. You know, he's Looking like a for sure candidate for a sixth man of the year, and running for most improved as well. So, I wish nothing but the best for him, except for when they play us. You know, hopefully, he misses some of those threes and uh, it allows us to win the game.